What is up guys, Timothy Kill 20 here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Wolf HUD. Alright, so Wolf HUD is a very simple but really nice looking HUD, and what you're going to first have to do is you're going to have to download BLT. This is going to be in the link's description. This is the latest one as of right now, 1.08. You just want to download, you just click on BLT R15, R5, and it should start downloading, and I already have it here, so I'm not going to download it. But um, next you want to download is Wolf HUD. You want to download the dev version and um, the reason why you want to do that is the regular version there's some bugs that he's not really fixing anymore so come to this github page and download the dev version and as you can see here he just updated it two hours ago on um, number 302 so once you download these two you're gonna have the files right here and the first thing you want to do is you want to open up um, oh wait, wait before you do this you want to go to your payday 2 folder and it is going to be in your program files, your Steam, Steam Maps, Common, and Payday 2. Um, it could be different, it's wherever you installed Steam and Payday 2. But anyways, now that I have this open, you want to open the BLT zip file. And what you want to do now is you basically just want to drag and drop. Alright, let me... Sorry about this. It's not really that organized. Okay, there you go. So you just drag these two right into the main folder directory and boom, now you have BLT. But the next thing you want to do is open Wolf HUD on Master. And then you want to open Mods folder in the Payday 2 folder and then you just want to drag this into there. And before you do anything, make sure you delete the Master. Alright, and now that you delete the Master, it's fine, you can update now and we're ready to run Payday 2. So let's run Payday 2 right now. It's probably going to ask for some updates, so that's what we're going to go through right now. Okay, my game is launching. So I turned on the Payday 2 source, so it should pop up any second now, hopefully. Um, okay, it says preparing to launch Payday 2. Okay, it's, it's open now. Alright, um, sorry about the black screen, guys. It's not responding, sad life. <laughs> Well, it's loading, so, yep. Um, here, you guys can see current Windows, and there you go, it fixes it itself because I have Windows borderless. All right, there you go. So now it's loading into the game. Um, yeah, it's just doing its usual. Uh, we're going to have to wait a minute or so because I have a lot of things running right now. All right, press any key. Press any key. And it should say update. I guess not. Um, let me click on this real fast. Oh, there it is. All right, update payday to BLT DLL now. All right, so this is gonna update. It's gonna take like a minute or so, as you can see here. Mine took faster than that, but some people have slower internet, so. All right, now that's updated, let me just restart the game as it told me to. By the way, sorry this tutorial is actually turning out kind of long. It's already 3 minutes and 30 seconds. I wasn't expecting that because it's so simple. But um, I'm going to do all the update stuff and I'm going to show you guys the different options. And yeah. Okay, I don't know why it's loading to exit out, but it's doing that. So, <laughs> you know, let me just Alt F4 because sometimes Payday 2 breaks on me and I don't know why. Um, yeah. Okay, it's loading back up. Might take a minute or two. Hopefully you're enjoying the music, by the way. This is the NCS stream, as I always say. Okay, the game is back on. Um, for some reason, OBS hasn't detected the game yet. Okay, there you go. Alright, it's going to lag for a second. And... Is it going to pop up another update? Okay, yeah. I think we're fine. Yeah, all the updates are fine. We're good. Alright, so now basically you can go to Options. You can go to mod options and wolf hood settings. This is where you're going to mess with every single thing on the wolf hood. Um, there's some really cool stuff you can mess with. Uh, yeah, there's a whole ton of things. You just got to go through it yourself. Um, just choose what you want. Custom waypoint, blah, 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 blah. Um, interaction, blah, 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 blah. And there's, there's a lot of nice stuff like this one right here. It tells you a key when you press it to, I mean, whatever. I can't even talk right now. There's a player laser beam, which is really nice. Sniper laser beam. 
all the different lasers there's different flashlight colors um, this one's my favorite option though skip I used to like I like skipping black screen I like instant restart and um, I like stat screen speed up those are my favorite auto car pickup my favorite no slow motion my favorite all these enable all of it <laughs> well that's what I always do inventory you can enable burst mode for guns which is really cool so some guns can have burst mode instead of just single and fully automatic but I don't like that so I'm just gonna disable that these are really helpful um, so in stealth mode there's no ECM feedback which is yeah you can disable real weapon names show inventory box name all that stuff so yeah that's pretty much all it's really simple to um, add install if I said that even right it's really simple to install and it's super easy to use there's tons of settings for it you can mess with it all day and yeah um, although with the dev build you kind of want to update every day when there's a new update but otherwise you're fine you don't really have to because here let me put back my right desktop you don't really have to but um yeah it's there as an option so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys next time peace